Well, I think this is incredible, friends. On Anzac Day, epitomising the uh, awesome Aussie spirit, Connor's had this removed. I, you know, that's no accident right there. And this young man certainly does epitomise a fighting spirit. Now, Con, you you had a had it removed. So wouldn't that be the total treatment? What else had to happen after that? So after it, um, like I said before, the three months just recovering, yeah. you know, just because I had to learn how to walk again. Uh. And also I did have my diet still with me, but it wasn't as the best as it is now. And then uh, three months later, going to oncology, and, that, and then I had a port in my system on one of my ribs, and that's so they could eject a need, needle every two weeks and start my treatment for the next year. Because I was learning to walk, I was in a wheelchair, so I couldn't really kick the ball around with my friends. I mean, yeah. I did see my next door neighbour a lot because he was one of my best friends growing up as we went to the same schools together. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much didn't get a lot of space, you know, to see friends and go to school because I was at PMH a lot, you know. And then after I got sick, I wanted to try footy again because I, footy's my main passion, West Coast Eagles, you know. Yep. Looked up, looking up to Chris Judd and Ben Cousins. Well, not now because of yep, the drugs, but retired. back then. <laughs> but, yeah, I wanted to get back up. And because I was in Alexander Heights and all my friends were playing for Balladura, they gave me, they said to me, play for Balladura, and I played for them for two years until I realised that I didn't really want to play footy anymore. So the coaches would have had to, were they like, you know, looking out for you there on the field and the other boys in, in the game? Uh, the coach was really looking up to me, same as the boys. I mean, they obviously didn't understand why I was wearing a rugby helmet when playing. But, yeah, they were really supportive, you know. Like, they could see, like, if I was in front of goals with no one around, they would hand me the ball and so I could yeah. kick it and get some inspiration, you know. Inspiring for myself, personal issues. So I also run a private drum company going around teaching kids which was pretty much inspired by my drum teacher Greg Brenton because what he did teaching me I want to go that do the exact same to other kids yeah. around Perth and yeah so I st last year I started up my own business called it's called Connor's Rock and Rolling Drum Lessons which is also on Facebook and also on Gumtree you can contact me if you want a lesson I take beginners intermediates uh, any age so yeah um, yeah, so that pretty much started last year and still doing it today and then obviously for the next goal is next year I'll go to Whopper which is in Mount Lawley and um, hopefully to study a Bachelor of Teaching Music Education and after four years of that I will be able to teach at public schools doing something I love.